Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's 11 a.m., which means it's time for the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, presenting live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery, featuring students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University's School of Music. I am your host this morning, Zach Weinstein, and along with our music producer, Karen Velos and uh, Rodolfo Zuniga, we'd like to welcome you to the FIU Music Hour. Whether you're listening to us in your car or live on WDNA.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you join us today for our live performance. Today, we are joined by jazz pianist and jazz studies professor Felix Gomez. Felix is a University of Miami graduate and has won several awards, including Best Composition at the North Jazz Music Festival, Outstanding Band Performance in the Downbeat Student Music Award. Felix has performed with artists such as Gloria Gaynor and Julio Iglesias, saxophonist Ed Calle, flutist Nestor Torres, and many more. And now, here's Felix Gomez with Dolphin Dance by Herbie Hancock.
and that was Dolphin Dance by Herbie Hancock. And now, Reflections by Felix.
Beautiful. That was Reflections by Felix. And now, Humpty Dumpty by Chick Corea. was Humpty Dumpty by Chick Corea. Next, we're going to hear Latin Groove by Felix. Thank you. 
and that was Latin Groove by Felix. Felix, how are you this morning? Sorry to make you get up from your chair. It's okay. Thank you. Are you... Can you hear? Is yeah, I think we can all hear you. All right. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you. Yeah. So, really quick, can you tell me a little bit about your journey to becoming a jazz pianist? No, oh, that's a long time back. <laughs> <laughs> when I was, uh, I always uh, enjoyed playing jazz. You know, even I had, even I was having classical training at the time since I was like nine, ten years old. And then, uh, but jazz was always part of my, my thing. So, I mean, I started there and different musicians uh, influenced me, uh, you know, but uh, I always had jazz in, in my heart. I did my homework with a classical t-shirt and everything. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't, but uh, yeah, but I have a lot of, you know, different pianists as well as, you know, other musicians too that have influenced, uh, you know, my career. Some of those guys are, you know, Keith Jarrett, of course, as pianist, you know, Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock, you know, like mm -hmm. the older guys from the, you know, from the older school. But I mean, also talented musicians today, it, there are a lot of people there out there playing now. Incredible, you know, what they do. Mm -hmm. So last time you were here at the station, you actually played in a trio format versus now, which is solo. Um, what's what is your influences for how you play solo and how you compose? Well, for trio, for me, it's easier. <laughs> uh, it's, this is more work for me. You know, solo piano is entirely different, completely different ball. You know, game. Uh, but. Uh, you know, what I use is uh, composition skills in order to play my piano, my solo piano stuff. So once I build my composition, you know, I, you just practice it on the piano. Of course, it, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. You know, you have to be aware of the bass line and the harmony. So you're doing actually the orchestra work because you're doing the melody and everything. So of for course. me, it's you know, like right, right now what I play here was like sweating. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But I think uh, it's coming along, you know, okay. Uh, but uh, like I said, it trio format, it, for me, I enjoy more that. You know, for me, it's more fun playing as a trio, you know, having the bass and the drums, and you can interact with, you know, off each other. Of course. So I like that better, but uh, solo piano stuff. Well, it sounds great. But it's beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, you're listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. Uh, we'll hear more from Felix Gomez after these messages. Stay tuned. And we are back on the FIU Music Hour with the very talented Felix Gomez on WDNA 88.9 FM. So, Felix, I understand you were a close friend of the late, great Mike Orta, who started the FIU Jazz Department alongside Gary Campbell. How did both of you meet? Ooh. Uh, 
when I met Mike, I think it was, you know, uh, playing somewhere. Uh, I first saw him playing with a Latin band a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And he was playing uh, with his brother, Nicky Orta. And they were playing together and they sounded amazing. And then I, when I went to Miami Day to start, you know, studying there, applying for, you know, to study jazz or music, that's when I really saw them there. I, I saw the band that they were playing in the jazz band there. And that's how I met him. And, you know, it's a great, he was a great player and a great person too, uh, you know. But uh, we developed uh, a nice friendship over the years. He helped me too. I took uh, lessons with him too mm-hmm. at some point. And, you know, we just, we didn't talk much because, you know, being pianist, both of us, like he would call me maybe to stop for him somewhere and I would call him and I would recommend him for, you know, gigs and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we ne- I, I never saw him much because, of course, he's a piano player. I'm a piano player. But, uh, yeah, he was a great person, a great pianist. and I mean, I sorry that what happened to him so early, you know, passed away so mm-hmm. at a very young age. But a uh, great person, you know. Uh, no complaints about him. So, you you um, said earlier that you've played with musicians like Julio Iglesias, Arturo Sandoval, and Dave Valentin. Were there any special moments that you had that you can remember from your performances or career with them? They were all specials, uh, special events, uh, special memories. Uh, Arturo was great because you know we traveled all over. We went to a bunch of places in Europe. Uh, Blue Note in Tokyo, uh, Osaka, and then plus the rest of Europe, you know, uh, the Ronnie Scott. So it was a great experience playing with him. Uh, he also play, he plays piano, so he would take, uh, um, you know, I would take a break because uh, he, he wanted to play a few tunes. So, so it was great, you know, uh, I have fun. It was a great band too. Uh, over the year it was changing, the band was changing. I don't know, every year, I guess. Uh, but it was a great experience. With the rest of the guys, Julio Iglesias, it was more like a professional, nice uh, experience. Mm-hmm. The music, yeah, I mean, I did what I had to do because it's more like a reading <laughs> thing. And, you know, I don't really into that kind of music, but it was nice. Um, it was more a professional experience. Uh, it was really nice and you know, the experience that I have with him, <laughs> I have experienced that uh, an anecdote that he hired me to go to Argentina and I was, I was supposed to replace his uh, piano player. He was going to retire. I forgot his name. And I don't know, they, uh, all of a sudden we're in the rehearsal and I see his piano player there. <laughs> so that was an experience. And then... Uh, <laughs> Something about, you know, actually I didn't get, I didn't have, I, I didn't play the show that night. The piano, his piano player did. And what happened was some kind of mistake for some reason. They hired me and I went there. I didn't play. He sent me home, but he took care of everything, you know, so that was. Did you at least get to enjoy a free concert? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I, I, I did. I was, you know, I was there. <laughs> yeah, drinking and eating and, you know, you know. I was listening to them, of course. But uh, after that, you know, I was just there a few days or I don't know. And then I, I, he, he sent me home. Because I guess uh, his piano player was going to retire and then, and then he didn't. He changed his mind. That's what happened, I think. Okay. But, uh, but he took care of everything. You know, he was really nice. Oh, of course. So, so as an educator. Yeah. Uh, Apologies, experienced educator. Uh, what do you try to achieve with your students, and has that changed throughout the years, specifically, you know, this past year? Uh, well, I've been teaching for a while now, so my goal is always to have my students use the instrument, the piano, as a, as a as device for composition. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have to play much. You don't have to have all those chops and play fast. You know, uh, I teach... Uh, you know, class pianos, and most of those students are like, it's secondary piano for mm-hmm. them, you know, it's a, the piano is a, it's, you know, it's not their main instrument. 
So I teach them some of the harmony and some of the basic stuff that they need to know. But really, you know, you use the piano as a compositional uh, you know, instrument for you to be able to compose or to arrange. No, you don't have to play piano, I mean, but you should know something about it harmonically. You, you should always, uh, even if you're a, whatever you are, but you always should uh, learn some piano, play some chords, because that's going to help you eventually uh, in terms of compositional uh, skills and you know, arranging and all this stuff. So that's my main uh, goal. Uh, and of course, I also have all the students that play. So mm -hmm. everybody's at a different level. So, you know, but uh, I treat them all the same. I gave them the same assignment. So they come in ready. So it's been good, you know. Especially at FIU, it's been a, a nice experience with the students and the staff there and everybody. So I'm, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I, I started there last, last year as an adjunct faculty and, you know, I'm. I'm there now, so mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I, I'm a vocalist as well as an amateur player. I know that I usually have trouble with my left hand <laughs> just playing the lower notes. Right. I'm so busy focusing on the melody. Yeah. So maybe I can take a lesson with you one day. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, looking back at your career, is there anything you would have changed, done differently, or, you know, probably had that Argentina message a little earlier? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great, yeah. <laughs> No, I wouldn't change anything. I mean, I think, uh, you know, you made mistakes along the way, but so what? You continue, you know. Uh, the main thing is uh, you, you, you don't give up, you know. You just, you do what you love to do. It's not about uh, thinking about money and stuff like that, material stuff. If you like this, you know, it's a tough business, but mm -hmm. you do it because you love it. Now... For me, I, I wouldn't change anything. I, I don't regret anything that I've, musically, that I've done, you know. Uh, I mean, I had a great classical training, uh, and I also, you know, with the jazz too, I, when I, I did the jazz on my own, you know, the jazz part, it was on my own at the beginning, and then, it's, it's funny because I learned like the theory later. I was playing already when I was mm -hmm. younger, but I didn't know what I was doing. So, because I'm, I'm coming like from, you know, from Cuba, it's like they teach you, I was born and raised there. Mm -hmm. So they teach you uh, classical music, really, basically, that's what it is. Okay. And the jazz is on your own. So I did my own thing on the side by listening and transcribing a lot of solos, and, and that's how I learned. I developed my ear training really good. And then after that, you know, I started taking lessons, mm -hmm. and then I found out what I was doing. <laughs> Theoretically, you know, like, yeah, but uh, but it's been great, you know, I have no complaint. And I'm talking about in the world, you know, not only as a jazz player, but uh, I also play all you know, different kinds of music too. You have to be able to do that, mm -hmm. that's part of your, you know, your training as a musician, as your education. So, you know, not only jazz, but I can. I don't have any complaints. I don't have any regrets about anything that I've done. And, you know, here I am, still playing, you know. And we're humbled to have you here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You ready to play some more? Yeah, sure. Perfect. So next we're going to hear Mode for Felix by Felix. And you're listening to WDNA 88.9 FM, the FIU Music Hour. Again, here's Mode for Felix.
You've been listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA at 8.9. I've been your host, Zach Weinstein, and along with our producers, Karen Velos and Rodolfo Zuniga, we'd like to thank our production crew and the staff of WDNA at 8.9 FM for today's broadcast. We love to share our talents and faculty with musicians in our community, so make sure to call 305-384-2896. That's 305-384-2896 if you would like more information on all of our programs. Do not forget to like our Facebook page to stay up to date with our upcoming music performances. Next week, join us again here at 11 for some more great music on the FIU Music Hour. To play us out is Felix Gomez with Adam and Eve and The Touch of Your Lips.